like their life depends on whether or not they do well in bracket, which do not, I'm just going to put this out there, do not put your like, your worth, your personal value in how well you do in bracket. Oh, it's a bad don't. look. <laughs> but now we are fighting to style savvy trendsetter. Oh, are we talking about that one meme? I forgot that song was in this game. The, My uh, goodness. All right, I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge my self-worth off one game, loses game one. Damn. This game got me feeling. <laughs> <laughs> this game got hands. Remember what to say. Don't trust what you. Don't trust what you think about your life past 9 p.m. But anywho, exactly. anywho, <laughs> uh, Pichu is a character who is at game's release. Oh, that's unfortunate. Who at game's release was um, not like it's not crazy to say that he was in contention for number one, just because of how overtuned the character was. But he, he eventually got his nerf. I, I think he got over nerfed a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Like, they didn't need to increase the amount of self damage he does, but everything else is sound. That said, Pichu is just like, you know, in ways, a worse Pikachu. And being a worse Pikachu is still better than, like, the bottom half of characters in this game. Which is my long way of saying, like, don't believe the lies. This character is still very good. Pichu can also do things Pikachu can't. Like yes. Kill. Like, Pichu's kill power, raw kill power surpasses Pikachu by a country mile. He's so strong, it's insane. But also, Glass Cannon, because you just saw, just died at 80 mid-stage. He, prob he probably would have died at 60 mid-stage. What's that? The lightest character in the game also self-damages themselves? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, Pratt Falls. But Obwon content to just uh, take that first SD and uh, run away with the game so far. Yeah, now Castar, man, gonna have to find his way in. We've seen a mm. lot of these down smashes just not work out at all. I I guess they they do hit below ledge, don't they? I, I have to see, like, because <laughs> I'm thinking about it, like, yeah, if Pichu's down smash hits below ledge, then that's, you know, that's something you want to do against someone who spends their life at the ledge. But uh, Obwon catching on to that. I don't have the hitbox in front of me to verify that, but that's my assumption for why Castar is uh, using it so much. Not able to get and the spike hitbox, but finding it there. And now Castar Man, kind of back in this game. You know, now, we Pichu's were... the lightest character in the game. Let make no mistake, Obwon can breathe, deep breathe even, on this uh, tiny mouse right now, and he will explode. But Pichu can also explode back. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. And then that happens. <laughs> yep, trying to jump at a shield, and you're now so short, you're still getting caught by that uh, F tilt. Now, what happened? Why did he skull bash? Was he tr was he trying to hit like the soccer ball Let and make a like a trick recovery? Guess, Let me have my a guess is trying to quick attack to the side and just flick the stick too early. Yeah, it looks like fat finger. That still sucks, regardless. Hopefully we won't see that going into game two. Yeah, because Castar Man had a great first stock before the SD. <laughs> what took this first stock here? That was... That was a sour down air. Hobwon just gave a little bit too much space to that T-Jolt. And another dare. And another Boom. one. <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't stage spiked into the stage. That could have been much worse at that uh, percentile. And then just to uh, do it. Why just, not? To just flex on him. So game two, we're going to Town and City. Pichu can... Pichu has no problems killing off the sides. At Absolutely. all. So that's that's a very welcome stage for this character. But it makes you wonder, because I, I missed it. I don't know what Obwon banned. I would think Town would be among them. Among the choices. Among... No. He banned Battlefield and Kalos. Ah... But yeah, no, Town and City Blast Zone is definitely going to be helping cast our man in this set. You know, we were saying before about Pichu's kill power, uh, especially, yeah, Thunder were already going to be... Oh, that was so in, close. Since uh, one of the differences between Pichu and Pikachu is uh, Pichu's Thunder always sends in the direction that Pichu is facing, while Pikachu's always sends out. So Pichu has greater control over where the Thunder sends. This also applies to Becker as well. Pichu can just not give you a chance to Sage Spike. If he wants it. Gross. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> it actually makes Pichu more threatening for Wii Fit than Pikachu, honestly. 
because Pikachu, Wii Fit just stays off stage and Pikachu slams her into the stage and she's like, oh, I'm fine. Pichu. <laughs> you fool. No! Why? But why, though? All right. <laughs> Give him a little bit of respect. Fair enough. But I I'll do that, too. Like, if a funny thing happens and we both fly, I'm just like, all right, I'll give you that. I'll do the little Ooh. finger wag, the up taunt. But that said, why did Castar Man go so far down into the depths? I know Pichu can recover from there, but there was no reason to. All right, Forward Throw setting up another potential edge guard situation. Castor Man hanging back a little bit. Pichu's Forward Throw will start killing very soon at ledge, too. Ooh. Oh, my. I, I saw what was coming from that. It was going to be very nice if they got it, but Obwan was very just too fast on the uh, double side hitting fair. I don't know what that trade was. <laughs> I think that was two F tilts looked like. That wasn't F tilt from Pichu's end. Back air just barely not going to be doing it. Because deep breathing adds on artificial weight for reasons unknown even to me. It does not. I'll kill you. The set goes to Obwan. I'm sorry for talking so much. It's fine. It's your character. You are more informed than we are. Oh my god, where's the first replay? But yes, just to get it on record once more, when we fits in deep breathing, she takes less damage. But knockback is still calculated as if she took full damage. And there are some modifiers that work like that. For example, Hero takes 10% more damage when he's in oomph but the knockback is not affected by this. Mm. Things like that. Even so, like, as, as we saw right there, if that, if I would have been sent away at, like, 144 instead yes. of 142, that probably mattered. Yes, yeah. the healing and reduced damage do bloat her uh, survivability. Just so, a wee bit. Like I said, artificial weight. <laughs> you didn't say artificial. That's, that you is did. what I said. <laughs> Muting. Fine. <laughs> you, you all got it on. You all got it on the vibe. Clip it. Play it back. 